Hello everybody, welcome to BOSM 2020. My name is Catherine Rose and one of my primary roles as RC cadet is to ensure that BOSM Junior Week happens. I haven't been able to organise Junior Week in the traditional sense, but I'm sure that BOSM 2020 will be equally fun and memorable for you all. In simple terms, BOSM 2020 is a scaled down version of the usual Junior Week format and adapted to comply with all the government's and RYA COVID guidelines. So, in the junior event, we've got 45 sailors in 45 boats. In the senior event, we've got 53 sailors in 39 boats. And actually, this is less than normal, or it's almost half the amount of normal cadets we get in a normal junior week event. Therefore, I'm sure you'll find it a much calmer and relaxed affair uh, with all the reduced numbers. It will still be lots of fun and we'll have lots of fantastic sailing. I'm really looking forward to it. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to the sailors coming from Itchner and Emsworth Slipper Sailing Club. I now have a few introductions. Our Commodore, Frank McCormack. Hello, I'm Frank McCormack, the Commodore of Bosn Sailing Club. On behalf of the flag officers of the club, I extend welcome to all competitors, parents and supporters to BOSM 2020. This is a special year. We wish you the best for great sailing and special friendship. Please do all you can to help yourself and others to stay safe. Good luck and fair wind. The Principal Race Officer, Simon Radford, in his Glad Emma committee boat race team is his daughter Grace, the Stirrups, the Hawkins, the Shepherds and the Curtises. The Radfords and Stirrups do not have any family participating in BOSM 2020 so have freely given up their time to help us. Thank you. The Cobden and Lyon race team is Mark and Susie Upton Brown, George and Elizabeth Stoughton and Tia Bedford. Hi, uh, I'm Simon Radford and I am the Principal Race Officer for BOSM 2020. So, uh, this week's sailing, uh, what we're looking for at BOSM 2020 is to promote uh, friendly competition uh, amongst our competitors. So we expect you all to sail by the rules and if you realise you have done something wrong, correct it by doing the penalty with no argument. Protests. Well, we don't wish to uh, get too heavily involved in protests if we can help it. Uh, we don't want people to take exoneration penalties or worse still, having to have and for asking you to participate in protest hearings. Everybody should uh, have now uh, printed off the website a copy of the sailing instructions, uh, which I would uh, really ask you to read uh, and consider and uh, go through. If you have any questions though, do please ask. We do want you to actually understand uh, what we're trying to achieve. So there are a number of things that I would like to highlight. Uh, what you'll find from reading the sailing instructions is that we will have a start committee boat and a finish rib. So all fleets except the silver topper Toppers will have a start boat uh, line, which will be Glad Emma, and we'll have a separate uh, finished boat, which will be a rib, and the rib will be flying a blue flag to denote that it's a finished boat. The courses, well, the courses will be shown on your course sheet, and these will, these, a uh, copy of which uh, you should take with you when you go sailing, and they will be available on the club website and also they will be uh, available here at Cobner for people to have copies. There are a couple of bits that I'd like to go through about the courses, uh, course boards if I may. Uh, if you're starting uh, from a committee boat, we will show uh, course cards explaining the course. Uh, and if you look down the side here of the uh, sheet, you have the racing marks, they're all named and also you'll find next to them which way you round you go, port or starboard. So if I just take a couple out for an example. So for instance, P is for park and that is a starboard rounding. 
weir, W is for weir, and that is a uh, port rounding. Freddie Brooks is a port rounding. And Peacock is also a port rounding. Now, we will also be using inflatable tea bags. They are orange uh, triangular shape, and on those there will be symbols. So, for instance, we have a couple of new ones. One will have a diamond on. This means that it will be a port rounding. We also have one which will have a bell on it. And again, this would mean that it's a port, port rounding too. And then, of course, on the last thing for any uh, committee boat starts, we will also show a Z, which means that you then sell through the finishing line. Um, The starting sequence will also change your scene from the sailing instructions. So instead of being five minutes, it will be three minutes. Um, so at three minutes, the class flag will go up. At two minutes, the blue Peter or U flag will go up. At one minute, the blue Peter will come down and then go is when the class flag comes down. Do they remember that if we do fly the U flag, that means that you should not be over the line in the last one minute before the start. If you are, you'll be disqualified. Now, another member of our uh, race team will have taken you through the uh, tally on and tally off process in the dinghy park. But as I said already, if you have any more questions, do not hesitate to ask. Thank you very much indeed. Piers Shepherd. Um, Piers has been helping me with the sailing side of things of the Arsenal Cadet role and will be introducing the rest of the BOSM 2020 committee and the class captains. Piers will be saying a few words as well. Great, thank you very much Catherine and Frank. It's my role to introduce you as some of the, the key names and faces behind BOSM 2020 and, the and their roles and responsibilities. Most of you know Catherine who is our RC Cadet and on behalf of everyone, I'd like to acknowledge and thank Catherine for, for the huge amount of work that she's gone into in organising Bosnia 2020. Every year is a big piece of work, but this year, with COVID restrictions, plus only a very skeleton office, she has had a mammoth task. In fact, you seem to have been working harder than Sarah and I com combined in our normal jobs. Thank you very much. Will Curtis has also done a really thorough and well thought out job developing the master plan of how we are going to operate under the COVID restrictions. I know, I know we will miss all being together and the fun races and the socials which make up so much of the normal Bosom Junior Week and make it so unique, but we must and should all be thankful and grateful that we've managed to do, get some racing amongst our friends compared, compared to many. Uh, we are truly lucky. I've been working with Catherine and Will behind the scenes to get everything organised and make sure everyone has a good, has, have, will have good sailing. But they have done the real hard work. I'm going to introduce some of the key members of BOSM 2020 committee. In addition to, to Catherine and Will, we have Rowan Chaplin, working closely with Gavin, head of safety, which is critical. Uh, Charlotte Mason, head of beach and tally. Sean Discombe Wells and Claire Assin, who will help with much of the admin and will be in charge of the results. Cara Badley and Tia Bedford should have been in charge of the social this year, but instead they have supported the team to get everything organised. Between Susie Upton Brown, Mandy Syrup, and Henry and Henry Hawkins, they will be providing on-site medical advice should you need it. The first aid box is in the hut. We also have the race team teams with Simon Radford as PRO. Simon has no children uh, participating in Bosnia 2020 and he's using his own time and holiday to run the racing. Thank you very much again. For the class captain's perspectives, you should all know your class captains, but to remind you, 420, Mel Kent. Lasers, Will Curtis. Fevers, Blake Rose and Al Langhorn. Toppers, Lucy Chaplin. Oppies, Mark Upton Brown and Tash Gladman. The class captains have a great source of knowledge and support so do contact them if you have any questions or comments. A few, a few points to cover in the sailing. First of all, it's, about a, it's, it's all about good seamanship. And the number one rule is to avoid collisions at all costs. That, that said, there is no, there is, if there is a rule infringement, please do sort it out in the water. For the, for the silver oppies, we'll be having, we will not be having protests, but there will be arbitration. For the other fleets, I would urge principally to try to avoid any and to resolve it on the racetrack. 
Um, as we are trying to get as many races in as possible, the starting sequences for the classes are going to be 3, 2, 1. So please be aware of this. The courses are like to be a mix of harbour marks and, social, and, and special marks. Please make sure you have laminated copy of the course map. I believe these will be available at Cobner. Please make sure you check the Bosom 2020 WhatsApp daily as, as the start times may change and it's possible they will be brought forward. Um, I now pass over to whomever is going to uh, take the next stage. Thank you very much and have a great time. Will Curtis. Um, Will has been instrumental in helping me mastermind this whole event. Will will talk you through the new layout of the dinghy park and we will and how we will transition from the dinghy park to the water and back again. It is important that you all listen to this as this is an important aspect of the event and it ensures that we comply with all the COVID guidelines. It is also important that every sailor knows which bubble they are in. Hello everybody and welcome to this video about Cobner and the arrangements for dinghy parks, launching and recovery and parking. Uh, this is the normal entrance to Cobner as you can see to the car park. Just out of interest, if that one should ever get full, just going back on yourself and the little turning on the left, there's the overflow car park if we need it. If we do need the overflow car park, uh, this is what it looks like. You just come in at the far end, there are some uh, campers, uh, tents, etc. And if you need it, if you just come in and turn sort of sharp left, it's called Sea Park. And this is where the Cobner Estate would like us to park if our normal car park is full. Assuming that the normal car park isn't full, this is the normal entrance into the Cobner car park and the road ahead takes us down to the water and the harbour down where the Bosom Sailing Club hut is and in on the left this first grassy area is the car park and please uh, car parking only in this area and in the distance there is the Bosom 2020 dinghy park area. The dinghy parks have uh, two entrances, uh, one just there and one down there. Looking at this one, this is the first entrance to the dinghy parks you'll come across and it's for dinghy park spaces, the bubbles A and C, labelled there for you. A few little COVID reminders, A and C and also a handy map to know where you're going. And down at the other entrance similar arrangement but this time for bubbles uh, b and d and uh, also a map there should you need it so back to the entrance for dinghy parks a and c just have a, a look find out where you're headed on the map and you come in through the gates on the left hand side is c dinghy park and there's the three rows there c3 c2 C1 and then coming down a bit further is A Dinghy Park and starting this time A3, A2, A1 and a reminder from the Copper Estate please don't pick the apples. So this time from the B and D entrance there's a few other boats here at the moment but walking in through that gate uh, on the left is D3 D2 and unsurprisingly D1 and then down at the far end there's B Dinghy Park, B1 on the left, B2 and then B3. So if we talk through uh, what launching will look like you'll start off in your lane so let's uh, let's say you're in a Delta 3 and you're in there and you'll be called forward by the Dinghy Park Master to launch as a bubble so your bubble will all lead out of your lane from your dinghy park and you'll go out of the gates and then across the car park heading down towards the sea but before that there is the tally point so the journey takes you over the grass onto the gravel driveway 
and then it's a left hand turn to the tally point. And the tally point is going to be at this fence just here. This is a natural gate between the dinghy parks and the harbour and this is where the tally point is. So after coming out of the dinghy parks this will be the tally point. Uh, the tally person will be here. It'll be a completely sort of verbal exchange just like a school register as you walk past. The duty tally person will tell you that you are signed on, you're tallied on. And important to note that across this line here, once you're past this fence, you are considered on the water. And that's an important distinction to make. So before you get to this point, there are the dinghy parks over there and the way you come in, that's all in the dinghy parks. Once you've tallied on at this point, you are then considered on the water. So you'll be called by bubble. You'll go through that tally point just behind me and you'll continue on down the track. Pretty familiar to most people. Note that uh, these toilets are locked and out of use because of COVID. Down here towards the hut, which unfortunately this year there'll be no catering at all. So everyone needs to be totally self-sufficient. Make sure you uh, take some food with you, either for on the water or before or after. There will be toilets down here, but then this will become more familiar to you. This is the normal Cobner Dinghy Park and you'll walk down the path. They continue down the track and then this will be familiar to you that have done Junior Week before, same as Bosom 2020, you'll reach the slipway. And at this point, the slipway master will probably hold you here waiting to launch. So this is uh, your next sort of checkpoint. We'll stop at the slipway and uh, wait for further instructions. So at the slipway, once the beach master wants more people on the beach, uh, the next bubble, you'll be called down as a bubble and you'll go down and launch on the beach where the beach master team will look after you and help you launch and then stack your trolleys in a bubble group on the foreshore. So make sure please that your tags have your bubble number on them. So after sailing you will be met by a rib and that will be your fleet rib and you will follow that rib perhaps in a bit of a sort of snaking Pied Piper follow the leader type way and they will bring all the fleet back down to Cobner. One really important note is that you are not allowed to come ashore at Cobner until you are told to do so. When you are told to recover to come ashore at Cobner by that rib you'll be told to do so in your bubble. So all your bubble will leave the rib out there in the water and you'll come in in the same bubble as you went out with. You'll all sail in as five boats or double handers, it'll be two boats. And you come in and the beach team will help you get your trolleys. Uh, but if you know where they are and you can help yourself, that'd be great. Get your boats on the trolleys and then as a bubble, all five of you will come back up the slipway and walk back to the dinghy parks. So on recovery, uh, the reverse procedure of launching, and that's the path, you come up there, and then the left turn back up to the tally point. Still walking up the gravel path, and you'll recognize the fence, and this is the tally point. So at this point, I'm still considered on the water. And that's uh, very important, but here we are, we're coming up to the fence. And right here will be stood the uh, tally person who will tally you off. And they will say, you are now tallied off. So once you cross that line and they've told you you're tallied off, you are now considered off the water. And you can now proceed up the track and back to your dinghy park, remembering to enter your dinghy parks through the correct entrance on the right. In the distance there is the entrance for B and D, and on the left is entrance for A and C. So here we are, we're pretending this time we're going to say we're in C bubble, walking through the gate. You can see that's the entrance for A and C, and let's pretend we're in a C3 bubble. Here we are, that's a C dinghy part there, 
and that's C3, so that's our lane down there. Go and park your boat, de-rig as quickly as possible, find a parent, and then uh, leave Cobner as quickly as possible, please, which is a, a shame, but it, it all helps us to uh, keep COVID compliant. And uh, also a reminder that we are only here really at the invitation of the Cobner estate. So uh, please uh, respect that and do all we can to make sure that Bosnian Sailing Club is seen in the best light and uh, we don't get uh, chucked out, basically. It's, uh, it's a privilege to be here. So uh, thanks a lot, everybody, and uh, have a great week. Rowan Chaplin is heading up the safety patrol boats this year. He has an important task for the week ahead and we'll be talking to you very shortly too. Hello, I am Rowan Chaplin, the patrol boat coordinator for Bosom 2020. All information regarding patrol boats and rotors, uh, the place to look is the WhatsApp group Bosom 2020 that has been sent out um, to competitors and parents. Uh, and any changes will be will be notified uh, on that source as the club website um, may not be able to be updated you know, while we are sort of remote in Cobner for the sailing events. There will be two events, uh, a junior event for three days starting on Saturday uh, and a senior event starting on Tuesday through Friday. With regard to patrol boats, patrol boats on Saturday will be picked up at 11.45 from the quay and generally we'll be picking uh, and leaving the quay uh, an hour before um, you know competitors are being called from their staging areas at Cobner uh, to allow us time to get down um, and provide cover um, for covering the launch. Unfortunately due to COVID-19 uh, social distancing uh, restrictions there will be no taxi service from Bosom Quay uh, down to, to Cobner um, so unfortunately, the normal exodus um, will, will not be able to take place. When patrol boats arrive at, um, at Cobner, the first place to go is the hut where crash packs and radios can be signed for. Um, and having taken delivery of your crash pack and radio, um, it is hoped that we can have a socially distanced briefing on the little slipway just to the side of the hut where we can go through you know patrol boat briefing notes to make sure people are very happy with um, you know um, taking a boat um, and and using it safely um, you know to provide sort of rescue and cover for the sailing events this year um, i have tried to allocate patrol boats based on fleet um, so that um, parents are on the same race course as you know their children hasn't worked perfectly but hopefully you know people will be in in roughly the right area um you know to uh, to to enjoy their love interest uh, on the on the water a few safety uh, items kill cords i think are the key one you know they have to be used at all time uh, and that is uh, mandatory we we must do that a few changes you know with regards to um you know our way procedures since last year you know when approaching a boat to render assistance not only must the engine be off but the keel cord must be removed um, as well with social distance restrictions um, no towing alongside will take place all towing will uh, will happen astern uh, to to make sure that distance um, is maintained and um, parents uh, on patrol boats um, looking and covering their fleets will hopefully be able to then pick up their bubbles at the finish line and they can take the bubble back towards Cobner. I think launching um, from, a, from a patrol boat and rescue um, uh, perspective I think is much easier with a larger foreshore. At the end of sailing I think we have to make sure that we don't have groups of, of people um, all landing at Cobner um, at the same time so please bear with us as we try and choreograph um, the retrieval of boats um, in bubbles uh, and uh, uh, and in a in a safe way fuel um, you know Gavin has asked me to say that uh, you know please turn up with your patrol boat um, fueled um, you know what happens after uh, racing is a top-up service um, um, it is not a um, arrive empty and fill up uh, if possible please um, because fuel is one of the major costs of uh, any sort of junior sailing event 
you know, for Bosom. Um, any further things that I need to do in terms of briefing, hopefully we'll do by the hut. If anyone have, has any questions, you know, please um, you know, let me know. We have been struggling a little bit with Duty Man, with many people receiving duties on behalf of other people. Um, and uh, the messages have been yeah, somewhat random, I think it's fair to say. But look forward to a good day um, um, of a good week of sailing. Um, and any questions, please um, ask. This year, the Cadet Committee is led by Rufus McKenzie and Penny Hodgson. Rufus and Penny will be introducing the rest of the Cadet Committee and saying a few words shortly as well. The Cadet Committee will be around during registration and then will be around in pairs daily, keeping up some of the Junior Week traditions. I would, however, like to add a personal thanks to Patrick Mayhew in the Cadet Committee, who has kindly been doing all the videoing and editing to make this very first online briefing happen. Hi, I'm Rufus McKenzie and I'm Cadet Captain. And I'm Penny Hodgson and I'm Vice Captain. As we all know, Bosom 2020 will be a bit different to previous Junior Weeks. And sadly, because of social distancing rules, we won't be allowed to do fun uh, fundraisers this year, and instead we'll be doing games within our bubbles. So for the juniors, instead of the normal Fancy Dress Friday, we're going to do a Fancy Dress Monday, which is your last day of sailing. So feel free to come as whatever you want, could be a pirate, um, could be anything, and they'll be judged on the day, and there'll be prizes for the funniest and for the best effort. And for the seniors, on Fancy Dress Friday, we'll still be dressing up, but instead of uh, we'll be dressing up if, within our bubbles, with a theme that we've decided with our bubbles. It could be anything you choose, like pirates or a movie theme, and a prize will be given out on, to the best team. Um, we're also going to be running a photo competition uh, with the title Having Fun at Bosom 2020. So if you've got any photos during the week that you feel um, deserve a entry, email them to bosom2020 at gmail.com. Um, that's all words or post them on Instagram with the hashtag Bosom2020 in numbers. The photo which is decided to be the best that encapsulates Bosom Week will be given a prize at prize giving. All entries must be in by 9pm on Thursday. And finally, um, we're also going to be running a TikTok competition, which, um, which should be quite fun within the bubble. So if, you, if your bubble makes a TikTok, feel free to send it into the email bosom2020 at gmail.com or indeed you could post it on Instagram with the hashtag Bosom2020. Every morning before sailing, a couple of Cadet Committee members will be walking around with megaphones, handing out merit mats and helping rigging if anyone needs any help. We'll also be there on the two registration days to hand out all the different bits and bobs that you need to get your boats ready and to answer any questions that you might have. That's it from us. Thanks. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Covid. Unfortunately, this year would not be complete without me running through some COVID guidelines that we all must take note of. So the main principles are as follows. Always keep left along the pathways. Keep your distance. It's one metre plus at all times. Keep washing your hands and sanitising. There are going to be sprays and bottles throughout the whole of Cobna. Keep to your bubble. There is a maximum of six persons per bubble. Do not form gatherings of more than 30 people. Track and trace will be an operation each day, whether you arrive by boat or by car. So please do not attend if a cadet or member of your family are in an at-risk group. If you're feeling unwell, if you're showing any symptoms, or you believe you have been exposed to COVID-19, a cadet and their family must accept that whilst Bosom endeavours to reduce risk from COVID-19, this cannot be removed. You are entering at your own risk. Thank you in advance for complying with all of this. I would, however, just like to add that whatever your personal views are of social distancing and the like, I would be grateful if you could respect the arrangements that we have been put in place for this event and comply with all the rules. Unfortunately, this is not going to be the year for inviting friends and families to watch the racing from Cobna. They are, of course, welcome to do this from the water. We need to keep the numbers down to a very minimum and families will be expected to leave after they have finished sailing. No lingering, I'm afraid, this year. Now on to some more practical aspects of the events. 
We have a web page on the Bosman Sailing Club website where the notice of race and the sailing instructions can be found, as well as lots of other important documents um, in connection with the event. Please take the time to have a good read through this. WhatsApp. To receive all the daily notifications and communications, it is important that all adults and any cadets of any eligible age sign up to the Bosman 2020 Announcements WhatsApp group. This will become our platform to replace the usual daily briefings. It will be the notice board for absolutely everything to do with Bosman 2020. So for example, there may be changes to the daily race schedule or the win announcements will be made through this group. Registration is gonna to happen tomorrow for the juniors from 11.30 and Tuesday on for the seniors. At registration, you will collect your cadet t-shirts any pre-ordered bucket hats, Cobner Park Art parking passes, harbour plaques and harbour maps. It is also possible to purchase additional items at registration and this will be explained to you at registration. Please also remember to collect your trolley tag which has a note of your sale number and bubble number on it. So the daily routine. This could change and if it does change it will be announced by the PRO on the WhatsApp group. So the juniors will launch at 12.45 each day and the seniors will launch at, at 2.10, apart from Friday when it'll be 10.10. It is important that every boat is rigged and the sailors are ready to go by this, these times. Now we've been very lucky to host our, our sailing from the Cobner Estate by Mrs. Beale. Now she has a few requests. We need to keep it nice and tidy Dogs are welcome, but please poop scoop. Traffic, please slow down on the route to Cobner Estate. And please do not go in front of the areas outside Diana's house. There are lots of bins around Cobner, so please use it, use it. Talking of litter, please do not litter the harbour with your water bottles. I have some bungee cord available, free of charge, and you may already have some bungee from your last year. Please get some from me to tie your water bottle onto the boat. Also at Cobner, we'll be having Ocean Charnley that will be selling a number of dinghy park bits. Please support them. And DE photos will be here on the first and last day of each uh, event to take photographs of you. That we unfortunately won't be running the hut this service this year. Therefore, you'll need to be self-sufficient and bring your own packed lunches and sandwiches and drinks. The hut has now been recommissioned as the Bosom 2020 HQ. Therefore, you will find me either in the dinghy park or find me at the hut. A few health and safety things. Um, ply sun cream, it's going to be hot. Uh, in fact, it's going to be very hot this weekend. And remember the wind chill. It may be really warm here at Cobner but you still may need wetsuits, warm layers, and definitely you'll need sailing boots. It's no bare feet or fit flops. The first aid um, tin will be at the hut. Finally, I think I'm nearly there. Um, please, please come to talk to me or any of the organizers if you have any questions, queries, worries, or suggestions, or maybe even just for a chat. We are a very approachable bunch and we would love to hear from you. Please remember we're all volunteers I'm sure we can do some things better, but if you'd like to get involved, please let us know. One last thing, please remember the spirit of Bosom. Please be friendly, welcoming, helpful. We want positive memories that, last, that will last a lifetime. I think that's it from me. As my predecessor Tris would traditionally say, let the games begin. Hi, I just wanted to send a message to Bosom Sailing Club and all of those involved with Bosom Junior Week. I know it's been a really tough period through this COVID crisis and only just recently being able to get back on the water. Um, but I, I, I hope you have a fantastic week. It's great that so many people are coming together, all parents and supporters, to make it possible. So have a fantastic time and enjoy it. We're looking forward to the America's Cup with Vineos Team UK. We're just finishing off our training here in Portsmouth and then we'll be off to New Zealand in September. So hopefully you get a chance to watch us out there and cheer the team along and we'll all get together and, 
Have a good time sailing soon. Thank you.